So we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, man. Uh, this is the last thing to close off with. This is kind of being a quick uh, little segue into just your interest level because we now we talked this a little bit, but now we have more details about this. Uh, Jorge Masvidal versus Nate Diaz are going to be going on a North American press tour. They're going to be hitting, I believe, five stops. That's great. Uh, over this, yeah, damn, they're pulling the good old uh, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather on this one. They're pulling. Hey man, they're pulling out of the playbook. They're 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 doing boxing. They're, they said, you know, we're doing boxing. We're doing boxing. Okay, mm-hmm. we're going to do a whole press tour, which is you only see that for the UFC days these days. Sad, um, right? But at the same time, what fights are deserving of that these days? Well, yeah, you make a good point. You make a good point. Um, anyways, man. They, they haven't hyped one up enough to deserve Well, I feel like if they did Izzy Peher 3. That would be good. That would be a good one. Anyways, so they're going to go to Vegas. They're going to go to Miami. They're going to go to uh, California. Uh, I don't remember where else. There's one more sandwiched in there. Maybe Dallas, I think. But, yeah, they're going to go and hit them all this uh, over the next week or so. Um Interest level in that, interest level in the fight. I mean, it's officially 10 rounds, officially light heavyweight. We learned some more details over time. Interest level in Jorge Mazda versus Nate Diaz, two in the boxing ring. Um, ten, out of 10. Like a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, dude. I mean, it's, yeah, I'll watch it. I'm going to watch these. I'm going to watch a press tour. I'm very interested to see how they hype it up. Because if you guys remember. That's how many people are going to be at those pressers, too. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, I remember their first fight. They were actually pretty respectful towards one another. You know, it's kind yeah. of like, you know, we're both, we're both gangsters and we're Jorge with we'll, we'll a Scarface yeah. uh, suit or whatever to the first press conference. And it's pretty sick. Um, yeah, man, look. Uh, and the fight ended up being kind of a letdown. I loved the fight a ton, but granted, it was just really lopsided. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Although, that's the thing, though. How would it have gone if they got into the championship rounds? Whenever Nate starts to come on, he was <laughs> slowing. He was what if? slowing down. What if he was he was slowing down? But yeah, I mean, look, uh, I'm excited for. I'll watch these press conferences. Um, hey man, maybe they'll do a virtual one. Maybe they'll let not. <laughs> but man, if only, right? Round two. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, anyways, man, uh, yeah, I'll watch it. Um, should be fun. That fight going down June first, like we talked about, super stack day for combat sports, man. Um, UFC 304, I believe, going down that day as well. Um, and then, uh, what fight is it? Uh, oh, yeah, Wilder Zhang. Wilder Zhang and then Better Be B-Ball. So, stack day of combat sports. But anyways, man, that's all I got. Anything else we talk about before we can close out of here? No, man, I'm so excited because next week's going to be so fun to recap. Yeah. All the content we're going to be making about uh, yeah. making around this and kind of all, there's going to be a lot of matchups that, we're, that are going to be be able to be made post this card. So, I mean, it's going to get really, really, really interesting, Josh, because, I mean, so many of these guys are ranked near the rankings. I mean, that's, that's going to be a lot of changes. That Tuesday or Wednesday when the rankings get updated next week, mm-hmm. wild yeah. as hell. Yeah, it's going to be wild, man. Uh, super psyched for you, Secret 100. Uh, couldn't be more excited, man. Um, hopefully it's a good card. Hopefully it's not a UFC 200. You know what I mean? UFC 200 was okay, but, mm-hmm. like, it didn't quite live up to the expectations. But that was also a lot of weird shit happened to it. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, man, I'm at Josh Shonoff on Twitter, at Andrew Ortega on Twitter, all one at Courtside Sound for all things related to the show. Thank you guys for all this all the support lately. You guys enjoyed this video and uh, the whole podcast as a whole.